What's good guys, it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you my thoughts and experience of washing my loose natural hair in comparison to washing my locked natural hair. So let's get into this wash day. So before detangling my hair, I'm starting off with sectioning my hair in four parts. Now, in last week's video, I told you all that I was learning about the right types of combs to use when detangling and how to properly detangle my hair. So here I am today using a rake comb to help me with this task. Now before locking my hair, I never practiced detangling my hair in sections like this before washing my hair. But to be honest, I have to say I found this very helpful. And for those who are curious to know the length of my loose natural hair in comparison to my locked natural hair, here is a sneak preview. But not to worry, in the next video I will be revealing my actual length. When comparing this part of my wash day to having locks, I could definitely say that you save a lot of time in this regard because with locks, everything is already sectioned and you don't have to worry about sectioning and detangling your hair before washing it. So here I am detangling each section. And here is my hair all detangled and combed out. And as you can see, my edges are surely filling in. And this is how much hair I lost after detangling all four sections. Now, if you'd like to see how much hair I lost after combing out my locks, then definitely go ahead and check the cards above. So in last week's video, I shared with you the steps I plan to take when washing my loose natural hair and to be honest, it is no different to the steps I took when washing my locked hair. So with the steps being exactly the same, I thought this would be a very fair comparison. And as you can see here, I'm just applying my shampoo to each quarter section. And again, I like to apply the shampoo to each section to ensure there is an even distribution of shampoo to thoroughly cleanse both my hair and scalp. With my lock journey, I applied my shampoo to each row of locks. So these two ways are very similar. The only difference is with my locks, my hair is already sectioned out. So I don't have to go through the hassle of sectioning each part. So yeah, I definitely like that with my lock journey. But to be honest, it's not that big of a deal in this regard. I mean, it's just, you know, sectioning your hair anyway. Once I'm done, I massage a shampoo into my hair and scalp to break up all the dirt and build up. Now, I won't be taking you guys into the bathroom with me. So the next clip, you will be seeing me moving on to the next step. So what I love about 
washing my loose natural hair in comparison to washing my locks is the fact that I am able to literally wash every single strand of my hair so this is another thing that I love about um, you know my loose natural hair when it comes to washing because at least I know that every single hair strand is clean you know and I'm not saying that when you wash your locks it's not clean but I don't think it's as thorough as of a clean as if you're washing your loose natural hair so now I'm gonna rinse the shampoo out my hair and give it a second wash and then I will go on to you know conditioning my hair okay so now that I have finished um, washing my hair shampooing it yes guys shrinkage <laughs> let me get this out the shrinkage is super duper real now before I go into conditioning my hair one other thing I would like to say about you know washing my loose natural hair in comparison to washing my locks is that I really like the fact that um, once I wash the shampoo out my hair, it's out my hair. Now, when I had my locks, there would be so many occasions where I would wash my, um, what, well, yeah, rinse the shampoo out of my locks, and then I, you know, dry my hair, and then I look in the mirror, and I'm like, okay, wait a minute, there's a whole bunch of shampoo that's um, still in like the lock at the front and it's like oh I'm gonna have to go wash it again and then I'll wash it again or rinse it again sorry and then I'll come back and there's still more shampoo left in it so I have to go back and re-rinse my hair for like the third fourth time but with um, your loose natural hair everything just washes out immediately you know what I mean so I really like that about my loose natural hair wash day so far <laughs> And as you can see here, I'm only applying the conditioner directly to my hair strands as the main purpose of a conditioner is to add moisture back into the hair after shampooing it because shampoos strip away the moisture. Now, if you want to learn more about how conditioners benefit your hair, then please go ahead and click the link above. Now, do you see how easy it was for me to comb through my hair after applying the conditioner? That's all thanks to detangling before shampooing, so I highly recommend this step. And just a reminder, conditioners are made for the hair and not for the scalp. Okay, so I have literally just finished conditioning my hair. So I'm going to let this sit on my hair for about five minutes and then I'll rinse the conditioner out and then I'll go into deep conditioning my hair strands. Okay guys, so a quick update. So I went to the bathroom to rinse my hair out, rinse the um, conditioner out of my hair. And then I realized after wetting my hair with the conditioner in it, because the conditioner is still in it, my hair feels so much more softer. So I am going to allow this to sit on my hair for about three minutes or so. <laughs> Don't really want to run around with my hair just wet like this. So I'm going to leave it on for about three minutes and then I'm going to rinse it out. Okay, so I just finished rinsing out the conditioner out of my hair, guys, and my hair feels so bouncy. Look at that. Bounce back. <laughs> but yeah, so right now my hair feels even much more softer, and now I'm going to apply the con... the what? The hair mask <laughs> to my hair, and uh, this got keratin in there, and as you guys know, keratin is used to strengthen the hair and um, that's a protein but you know this definitely helps with um, the keratin or collagen or protein that is um, vital for hair strands so let's get into it 
So once again, I am sectioning my hair into four sections to apply the hair mask. What's funny about this is when I was a loose natural prior, I never used to do this. I never used to put conditioner on my hair and I never used to deep condition like, you know, this type of treatment I'm doing now. And now I understand why my hair used to feel so dry and would break easily. Now, if you want to learn more about how conditioners benefit your hair, then please go ahead and click the link above. And again, I am only applying the conditioning hair mask to my hair strands and not to my scalp. Then I let it sit for 30 minutes to an hour. All right, guys, so I literally had to change my location because my children came into the living room and have taken it over. So I have moved to my bedroom. So let me just give you the final verdict on how I feel about you know washing my loose natural hair in comparison to washing my locked hair now i can definitely say when it comes to washing my loose natural hair it takes a little bit more time i don't necessarily believe the time is significantly longer um no i definitely don't think it's significantly longer um, but it is slightly longer because of the fact that um, you know you're here you're trying to make sure it doesn't get tangled um, and I am washing it in sections as well like you probably didn't did I show no I don't think I showed that but um, you probably wouldn't have noticed because when I did go to the bathroom to actually wash my hair I was um, like the section down here I'll be going through it and washing it um, as well as the other three sections so that was a bit different and you know I, I don't know but I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm feeling the loose natural hair more so because like I said before I am able to wash each individual hair strand even though it's kind of like all together but you know I'm able to wash my hair strands and knowing that each individual hair strand is coated and you know I'm raking my fingers through my loose hair and knowing that it's you know I'm taking off any dirt away you know I'm, I'm taking any dirt away as opposed to with my locked hair it's like is my is the inside of my lock clean is it as clean as the outside of my locks you know what I mean so I definitely like that um even though some people would say oh it, you wash they've been a bit longer um could be like a negative but like i said for me personally it didn't seem like significantly longer now one thing that i definitely don't like about my wash day routine so far is the detangling part of it you know what i mean like whoo because you know like i said i was going through each of the sections and um you know there were hairs getting a little bit tangled but it wasn't a lot of tangling but you know there's a bit of tangling and stuff like that and when i'm parting the section you know you want to make sure that it's not tangled up or anything like that so you're not damaging your hair breaking or popping your hair or anything like that so that's the only thing i can actually think up from you know just doing this x Experience, doing this experience 
since having this experience in such a long time so my experience so far is it's a, it's a positive one and I look forward to developing a new routine for my hair I mean I, I think I'm gonna continue with the routines that I had in place before but you know before locking my hair I was still learning about my hair and I didn't really know much about loose natural hair or how to care for my loose natural hair so this will be another hair journey that I will be on and will be able to share with you guys how I am actually learning about my natural hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did then you know what to do. Give me a big massive thumbs up, drop a comment and don't forget to like and share. <laughs> I was trying to remember what, what do I need to ask you guys to do. So definitely give me a big massive thumbs up, drop a comment and share this content and you will see me in the next one.